This maneuver is called loaded knee extension. This is typically used in repetition and used for treating and assessing knee pain and dysfunction. And it should really only be used in conjunction with working with a McKenzie Method Certified Professional. All right, so how do, we how do we perform loaded extension? So there's a reference on how to perform this effectively at home. So let's pretend my left knee is the affected knee. I've already gone through some basic knee procedures with my clinician. They recommended I do loaded knee extension. How you do this is that you shift most your weight to the affected side, which is my left side here. And very simply, I'm just going to bend my knee just a little bit and then straighten it out. Bend a little bit, straighten it out. Bend a little bit, straighten it out. Typically performed as 10 at a time or 10 or 20 at a time and um, five sets a day. So I could be anywhere from 50 to 100 reps in a, to in a total of the day, 10 to 20 times every three to four hours. So slight bend, extend, slight bend, extend. Now, if you do this and it sort of hurts at the end range, that's okay. Just kind of touch the pain and come back. Touch the pain and come back. If it's getting easier, great. Keep going with it, push it a little further. If it feels the same every time, it's okay. Keep just kissing the pain. If you're doing this and it's starting to get worse, proceed with caution. But if this is not getting any better or it's getting worse, and then afterward your knee pain, range of motion, or function is worse, as a precaution, you want to stop doing it, uh, message your clinician, and they'll change your program accordingly. Now, when you're doing these, and I say it is getting better, whether it's in the set or as the days goes on, you want to make sure you're pushing it to end range. You really want to squeeze that knee. So you almost want to add a little bit more of a snap or a ballistic motion to it, okay? Next step is that if we've used that motion, it's full and pain-free, the next step may be that your clinician wants you to add a little bit more oomph to it, okay? How we do that is by using a band, and first would be band assistance. Band assistance means that the band is assisting that end range pull. So same idea, I'm gonna control the knee bend, but then I'm gonna relax it, and you'll see my knee straighten out a little more as the band pulls it back. So slight bend, control it back, and then relax. Slight bend, control it back, relax. Good. And this should only be used if the end range knee extension is already full and pain free. If this is painful, you need to stop doing it, message your clinician, let them know. Now the next step is, again, this should be guided with your clinician, don't just go off your own doing this, is that we add resistance. So when we've done assistance enough and it's full and pain free, we can add resistance by turning the other way and straightening the leg out against resistance. Again, 10 or 20 repetitions at a time, every three to four hours, pushing as far as you can into end range. It should be full and pain free. You should, or the other exercise prior to that should be full and pain free before you ever attempt this. If it's ever getting worse as a precaution, stop doing it, message your clinician to change your course of action. Sometimes what happens is, is when we're doing a knee extension is that we may plateau or some changes might happen, whether, whether good or bad. Either way, your clinician might decide that we want to change up or modify your knee extension just a little bit. So typically when knee extension is performed, the knee is straight in front of the toe and they pull it straight back. Sometimes we need to add a little bit of rotation in the knee. How we do that is we take the toe and we think about, if I'm at a clock right now, I'm gonna take my toe, it's at 12 o'clock, I'm gonna point it at 11 o'clock. However, my knee is gonna stay at 12 o'clock and six o'clock. So you can see there's a little twist in my knee here. So same idea, slight bend, straighten it out, slight bend, straighten it out. It's just that my foot is no longer straight in line with my knee. My foot is outward at 11 o'clock and my knee's going at 12 and six, 12 and six. All right, and again, just don't go off and do this on your own. This is only to be a, an exercise reference when your uh, McKenzie Method clinician has guided you and said that this is the way you should be doing it.